Hi everyone, and welcome back to Edie Loves Math. Today, we're diving into the world of math learning for students with autism and dyscalculia. One of the most critical stepping stones to success in mathematics is having a solid foundation in basic math facts. However, traditional rote memorization methods often fall short for students with learning differences. In this video, we'll explore three highly effective strategies that use manipulatives to make math come alive for students with autism and dyscalculia. Let's get started. Our first strategy focuses on the power of concrete representations. Students with autism and dyscalculia often struggle to grasp abstract numerical concepts because they can't visualize what those numbers represent. This is where manipulatives swoop in to save the day. Manipulatives are simply physical objects that students can touch, move, and manipulate to represent mathematical ideas. For example, let's say we're teaching addition. Instead of just showing students the equation 2 plus 3 equals 5 on a whiteboard, we can use counters, blocks, or even colorful beads to represent the numbers. Have the student gather two counters, then three more, and finally, count all the counters together to see that they have a total of five counters. This hands-on approach allows them to physically experience the process of addition, making it much easier to understand and remember. Subtraction can be taught in a similar way. Start with a certain number of objects, and have the student physically take away a certain amount, then count the remaining objects. Multiplication is all about repeated addition, and manipulatives can make this concept crystal clear. Let's say we want to teach the multiplication fact three times four. We can use blocks to create an array, which is simply a rectangular arrangement of objects. Have the student create three rows of blocks with four blocks in each row. Then, they can count the total number of blocks to discover that three times four equals 12. Manipulatives provide a concrete and engaging way for students with autism and dyscalculia to explore and internalize mathematical concepts. Our next strategy takes us on a journey along the number line, a valuable tool for visual learners and a fantastic resource for students with autism and dyscalculia. Number lines provide a clear, linear representation of numbers and their relationships to one another. They help students visualize the concepts of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division in a way that makes sense to them. Let's start with addition. To illustrate the problem 3 plus 5, have the student locate the number 3 on the number line. Then, have them move 5 spaces to the right, following the direction of increasing numbers. The number they land on, 8, is the sum of 3 plus 5. Subtraction can be visualized by moving to the left on the number line. For example, to solve 7 minus 4, have the student start at the number 7 and move 4 spaces to the left. The number they land on, 3, is the difference between 7 and 4. Multiplication on a number line involves repeated addition, just like we saw with the blocks. To demonstrate 4 times 2, have the student start at 0 and make 4 jumps of 2 spaces each, moving to the right. They'll end up at the number 8, showing that 4 times 2 equals 8. Number lines are incredibly versatile tools that can be adapted for various math concepts. For students with autism and dyscalculia, the visual and linear nature of number lines can be incredibly helpful in understanding the relationships between numbers and mastering basic math facts. Chapter 3. Incorporating Pattern Blocks for Multiplication and Division Our final strategy for today brings us to the world of pattern blocks, a favorite among visual and kinesthetic learners, and a fantastic resource for teaching multiplication and division to students with autism and dyscalculia. Pattern blocks are geometric shapes that fit together to create larger shapes and patterns. They provide a hands-on and visually engaging way for students to explore these mathematical operations. Let's dive into multiplication first. Imagine you want to teach the multiplication fact 3 times 6. Start by having the student select a pattern block, such as a hexagon. Explain that the hexagon represents one group. Then have them create three groups of hexagons, with six hexagons in each group. By counting the total number of hexagons, they'll discover that 3 times 6 equals 18. Pattern blocks can also be used to visualize arrays, which are rectangular arrangements of objects. For instance, to illustrate 4 times 5, have the student create an array with four rows of five pattern blocks. The total number of blocks in the array, 20, represents the product of 4 times 5. Now let's explore division with pattern blocks. 
Suppose you want to teach the division fact 12 divided by 4. Have the students start with 12 pattern blocks of their choice. Then guide them to divide the blocks into four equal groups. By counting the number of blocks in each group, they'll see that 12 divided by 4 equals 3. As we conclude our exploration of these three effective strategies, it's clear that manipulatives are not just toys. They're powerful tools that can transform math learning for students with autism and dyscalculia. By providing concrete representations, visual support, and engaging activities, manipulatives help bridge the gap between abstract concepts and concrete understanding, fostering a love for math and building a strong foundation for pre-algebra and beyond. To all the amazing teachers and dedicated parents out there, I encourage you to embrace these strategies and incorporate manipulatives into your math lessons. Be patient, provide plenty of opportunities for practice, and celebrate those aha moments when they come. Remember, every student learns differently, and what works for one may not work for another. The key is to find what resonates with your students and empowers them to succeed. Until next time, happy learning.